guys, we're here with a riding mower this morning that has an interesting thing going on with it. Not one that I've exactly seen, but I've seen a lot of similar things that could have been solved with a very inexpensive item. You can get it at a local grocery store or anywhere else that is readily available. Keep watching to find out what that is. Tuning up this Simplicity Broadmoor, I found something rather interesting. Looks like snake skin to me. That was down in this spark plug hole. The other side it looks like I've got feathers and I've got snake skin down in there. And stuff all packed underneath. We're going to take this off. See what we have. Snake skin and feathers. It's a lot of it. But is the snake still present? Looks like a pretty large, pretty large snake skin. Not sure what type of snake it would be. Doesn't look like we have a snake present at all. Uh, there is some sort of rodent that's partially decayed over here. Maybe there was a nest up underneath, snake found it, you know, maybe took out a couple of the rodents. Um, yeah, and moved along apparently right after shedding. Interesting, I've never seen anything like that inside of a mower. I'm sure it does happen, especially as you get further down south into areas where snakes are more prevalent. Share your stories down below. Now we found this snake skin up underneath the air cleaner and up underneath the engine housing. We also found a dead, what looked to be like a chipmunk or something of that nature. It looked kind of small to be a chipmunk, but it looked a little large to be a mouse. I don't think it was a rat though. So something interesting as far as a varmin some, of some sort. Uh, but a snake probably came in chasing the varmin, you know, hung out maybe for a day or two uh, to see if any others were going to come back to the nest, I would assume. Maybe ate a couple of them, who knows. Either way, those varmin were there because they like to make nests up on top of those heads. They make great nests for mice or, or anything of that nature, any kind of mammal. Um, we see it quite a bit where they store seeds and, and anything else up underneath there. If you use something simple such as a mothball, we use mothballs all the time, that's what I use in mine. If you can stand the smell, that's a very easy and inexpensive way to keep those things from happening. If those varmin weren't there to begin with, that snake wouldn't have been there. I'm glad that the snake wasn't still in there. I was kind of worried about that. That's why I originally uh, filmed this, but 
turns out that the snake wasn't in there, but quite a bit of snake skin, which is interesting. Again, I think something like this probably happens a lot more in the south, where you get more snakes in areas like this, where we don't get quite nearly as many here in Illinois. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.